Hey everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> this is another anime episode 1 review for this season. <sighs> this is my review of, uh, the section Geki Bahuma Genesis or Rage, uh, what is it, um, Rage something. Rage of Bahamut Genesis. Okay, episode 1. Oh, already, before I actually get into the in-depth with this review, I have to say, already, the art looks really good, and the animation is amazing. It really is. Like, honestly, if people praise the animation in Zonkin no Terror, because this is by the same studio, by the way, MAPPA, this animation is far superior to Zonkin no Terror. It really is, alright. The, the production value is so high in this series. It really is. Especially at the beginning of this episode. It was so fucking good. It looks so amazing. <coughs> it also seems like there's going... Also, the music's really fucking epic, too. No complaints there. Also, it seems like there's going to be some sort of mythological elements here. Because there's like this dragon at the beginning, and there's the, all these warriors that look like that look like kind of depictions of the Greek gods, which is really interesting. Also, there's the main female character here who's trying to go to some place. I don't remember what it's called, but I have been told that it's some sort of thing about thing in mythology. So there seems to be a lot of mythological vibes here, meaning they're taking stuff from mythology and putting it in the series, which I think is really interesting as well. Okay, so overall. Like, in terms of the gist of the stuff like that, this first episode of Genesis did a fantastic job. Okay, it really did. Now, we don't know too much about the plot yet. The beginning there was pretty much just a setup, I'm guessing, and then they sent us far into the future in terms of the timeline and whatnot. But I'm guessing that our main character... I'm not sure who our actual main character is, though. I'm guessing he's that one, like bounty hunter who's like this drunk guy but we also had another bounty hunter in here this episode who seems to be pretty <coughs> important as well <clears throat> and they're bounty hunters obviously and there's this main female character that's trying to get to this place called I forget again I forget what it's called but she's trying to get this like mythological place and this bounty hunter supposed main character claims to know how to get there and that's the basic setup for the series so far that seems to be really it though but I'm definitely interested in continuing because it the plot seems interesting enough to me right now, and and that production value is so fucking high. Really, there is so much production value in this in this anime. Okay, so overall, I definitely recommend this first episode. It was a refreshing change of pace. I'm not too sure how many episodes it's gonna be in total. Come on, look up here for a quick sec when I'm, while I'm talking. Um, I'm not sure how many episodes this could be in total. I'm guessing, considering the setup, it might actually be like... It doesn't say here well. I'm guessing because of the setup, it might actually be like 24, 25, or 26. Maybe like a two-core series. <clears throat> because with a setup like this, you don't usually have a one-core series, which would be like 12, uh, uh, 12 or 13 episodes usually. Um, so anyways, though, I definitely recommend this first episode. It was really good. So anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. These after you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.